Hey, what is going on guys? The official mixer here and welcome back to another video. This time we are back on the Amplified Survival Solar World. This is episode number 36. The last episode was just a full-on flop and I do extremely apologize about that. Uh, there was a lot of problems with it and stuff like that. But since the last episode I've actually placed in all of the dirt on the roof which matches the dirt on the lower half here. And what we're going to do is now is we're going to finish off the walls and then we are actually going to a mesa which is fucking thousands and thousands of blocks away it is at minus four thousand and minus five thousand five hundred i believe i can't quite remember i did have to look it up on a biome finder because otherwise we were never going to find it but we need to figure out what we're going to do for these for the walls in there and i feel like birch would be really nice but we don't have any um and yeah I, I i don't know i feel like it would be nice to have it the same as this but i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm really gonna do i feel like uh something maybe hard and clay would be nice in there but it's just the fact that we don't have any which is a huge fucking problem so obviously i'm gonna have to go to the mesa and like i, I want to go just because i can but it turns out you can actually make hard and clay which i did not know you need to make it out of normal clay obviously uh, but i did not know that you can make hard and clay whatsoever so that does really make me rip in pepperoni just a little bit. So we kind of do need to figure out something that we're going to make those walls out of. I'm not 100% sure what at all, to be quite honest. No, stay there. Is that red wall? Why have I got... I I've always wondered why there's red wall in there, but I've just never said anything. And I, I genuinely don't know why it's there. We do have some blue stained glass actually ready for to put in some of those gaps down there. But that isn't enough whatsoever to finish off down there so what exactly do we even have what, what have we got in this junk chest you know let's have a look i feel like maybe some like there's not many green blocks in the game you know not many green blocks at all i feel like slime balls would be a really nice thing to do like it's some slime blocks there but because they're see-through that could cause a few complications plus they're really expensive we don't actually have that much slime there is more down at the down at the spawner, but it would... I don't know. Let's turn all this into slime blocks anyway. I think you can turn it back. Yeah, you can turn it back. So we'd need a lot of blocks to, to do this, but I feel like it could be a nice addition to one of our builds somewhere, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do this anyway, because I, I wanted to turn these into slime blocks anyway. But there we go. We also need to get some more food from somewhere as well, uh, which is, you know, well needed. So... I, I don't know. I don't know what the hell we're going to go for here. I actually want to try out this spruce thing, uh, which I did not even know about until I saw it in Zuma Void's video or X Zuma Void's video. Did not even know that it existed. I did not know that you can make 4x4 birch trees. Uh, spruce trees, sorry. And they are huge. Actually, no, I didn't see it in X Zuma's video. I lie. I saw it in someone else's. I can't remember whose, but it only takes five bone meal to get that much wood. It's crazy. So I've decided that if we ever need wood for like hoppers and stuff like that, this is the place to get it. This is definitely the place to get it. Like, look at this. We're, we're going to collect all this right now just to prove how much is actually here. This is with an efficiency fiber axe, by the way, how quickly we're actually doing this. But it, it's just crazy. Like, there's so much. I f you know what? We're going to do something with, bit, uh, with spruce now. We're going to do something with, sp with spruce. I've decided. Just, just purely because of this tree. Like, I'll show you how much wood I get from this in just a second. So if you actually stand right here, then you can do this. Just like this. Like, that took no time at all. And we got almost a stack and a half from one tree that is absolutely crazy um but yeah i feel like we should do something with spruce wood now it, it looks pretty decent and it, it goes with coals and i believe this is no this is dark oak but spruce wood does go pretty with, with cobblestone so that's what we're going to go for um and then after that we're just going to make our way to the mesa biome we need to cook some food up as well i got some potatoes here but it's definitely not going to be enough i also want to place down more powered rails because you know why not and I also want to get mending on my other two tools because 
it is well needed. Like it, you know, the pick, the axe is almost broke. The 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 shovels, you know, get into its wit's end. The the boots need fixing as well. The boots are really badly need fixing. Uh, but we'll roll, we'll remove this beacon afterwards. But I, I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do here. We could go for like a cobblestone border or maybe something else. Like no, I think we're gonna have to go for cobblestone because otherwise it's just gonna look really strange. Um, the lighting situation, I have no clue about, to be brutally honest. I have no idea what the hell we're going to do for that, but we'll figure something out. Um, so yeah, we just need to do all of these walls. Okay, so we just placed it in our last blocks there of the border. And I'm not sure whether I like how it looks or not. I, I'm really not, because I feel like I kind of want like an indent here. You know, I, I feel like these need to be pushed back one more like this and then have a wood placed in them. Maybe I'll change my mind then. Let's just do one section of it here and kind of have a look. Because otherwise, it just if I, it kind of feels weird with that up there, you know. But I think that looks okay, actually. And then what I'm going to do for the lighting situation is I am going to incorporate the slime blocks into this build. Uh, and I'll show you. I literally just thought of it then. And I'll show you how later. Because I believe slime blocks are transparent to light. So all light should pass through them. And that will give us a good way to put in some light. And then we can also maybe put some lighting in the roof as well. So let's just get the rest of these walls done. So I've just done two more of the walls. And I've realized the ideal... <laughs> the idiotic mistake that I've made and that is that I haven't pushed these walls back to make the indent like I have in this one and it makes me cry every single time there we go used up all of our wood so we do have to go get some more but this is how the room is looking kind of need some some light in here it's getting pretty dark but yeah this other room is looking I think it looks pretty nice it kind of you know the indent made it look Ten times better than I thought it could ever look. Um, but we do have a lighting solution, like I said, with some slime blocks, which we will figure out in a sec. So I do actually need to go grab some more wood. I I don't know whether we have any saplings down here or not. I actually have them on me, but there's no way we could grow uh, a big spruce tree down here. We only need a little bit more wood, actually, so it may be worth just chopping one of these down and growing one. So let's just give that a go, because we only need a little more wood. Just to get it done, really. Uh, let's give this a go. Okay. We don't need much more, like I said. So this should be a good amount. That's an extra 32. I think that actually might be enough. Let's go. Let's go have a look. If it's not, then it's not. But um, you know, we got the tree farm right there, so it's perfect. Yeah, that's sh this should be enough. I think. Yep, just enough. Literally perfect. There we go. So now we got in the walls, got in the roof, but not all the roof is done. We do actually have to put in the blue stained glass, etc. We need to move these chests as well. Um, but what I want to do is I want to get the lighting into the walls. So I'm going to quickly go grab the slime box and some torches. Okie dokie. So I've got the slime box and the torches there, and we're ready to put in this lighting. So we are going to have to figure out where exactly we're gonna put it but we uh we've got a lighting solution for this room and i think it'll look pretty nice i, I don't i don't think it'll light it up that much to be brutally honest we're gonna have to kind of add in some other lighting somewhere else but i feel like it'll look fucking awesome so this room is 32 by 32 but we have a 30 block space to place in as many lights as possible so let's go uh two away from the wall and then a gap three in between Let's just start that over here as well. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then this would be one, two, three. So there we go. If we do that, that should be a pretty decent lighting solution. So we just do this, um, like so. And then we place a torch in there, place a slime block. I don't know why, I just thought it looked pretty cool, and yeah, why not? It's not like you can see the dirt behind there or anything. I think it should be enough light, I'm not 100% sure. Um, we'll have to kind of have a look. We'll take away the rest of the torches in just a sec, because obviously this is making no difference right now, because there's already torches here. 
but we'll give it a go. If it isn't enough, then we can always get like some glow sun placed behind there or something like that. Sorry, I got massive hiccups, but yeah, I feel like these slime blocks add a bit of depth in here, and I, it actually looks pretty freaking cool. Uh, so let's get rid of the torches from this side. So obviously it will be a little darker than having these torches here because, you know, they're, they're set back in the wall. But it's it's still pretty bright. I think we could get away with that, actually. So two away from the wall, three block gap. Three block gap. And there would be one here, but I don't think we can really place one there. So torch, break that, torch, and break that. Torch, slime blocks like so. Awesome, I think this looks pretty cool. So we've got three block one, two, three block gap. Uh I am very bad at counting right now. No. Give me my slime block. We do have more slime down at the uh slime spawner, but if we need more we can we can easily just sit there, you know, and collect some because we actually do need a new iron golem in there because he died somehow. I really don't understand how, but he did die. So we need to work on getting ourselves a new one there. Because, you know, I think, there, I think there was skeletons spawning down there and they shot it to death. Which is just rip for our, rip for our guy, I guess. But three, them two right there. Knock all these out. I'm just going to knock them out like this. Put our torches in. Put our torches in, like so, one, two, uh, three, four, boom, boom. I don't think it really matters where I place them on the block in there, as long as they're on that block, you know. There we go, there's one more wall done, so we just need to do one more wall now. Let's remove these torches as we go along all the... One. So it isn't the most lit up of rooms. We'll figure out a lighting solution for the, for the floor. I feel like we could maybe put like some lights underneath the water or something or uh, I don't know. We'll figure something out. We definitely got to put some light in that roof. I picked up some baked potato from the house too because it was um, very much needed because we were getting low on food. So but yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out. I also kind of want to put in a storage area which I feel like we should kind of put in the back here. Like, not a big storage area, you know, but it would kind of be a joint one for the tree farm in this place. But then I feel like we just have way too much storage on our hands, you know, and it just wouldn't be worth it. But, I don't know, because we have, like, all that storage down at the... Th all the... Th all the storage down at the... at the mine, you know, the, two the sorting system, the... the thing upstairs in the house, the thing downstairs. I just feel like there's way too much storage going on that we're never going to use. But then I feel like it's kind of for convenience sake, just in case it ever does get used, you know, because one day we'll use it all and we'll be like, oh, fuck, we're out of space. So, I, I, I don't know. There we go, and there we go. So, all the lights are in. Let's get rid of all these torches. I don't really care whether it looks, like, dark in here. It's just whether a mob spawned in here, you know, I don't want it to be, like, a mob trap. So this is looking pretty nice. I, I, it gives off a good amount of light. It doesn't give off the best amount. If there was close some behind there, it would be a lot brighter. But it actually, this room has a real nice fucking vibe. So we need to get rid of this beacon now as well, finally. Wait, we don't have any space. Gotta make sure we've got space here, because I don't want to end up losing iron blocks. We also need to pick all this sugarcane. As you can see, it's fully grown already just from us working here, which is awesome. So we need to pick up all these iron blocks. Don't want to miss out on any... Because a lot of iron goes into a beacon. There's a lot of freaking iron, man. Um, and we're actually going to work on a new beacon soon. We're going to work on getting a new beacon block, which will be absolutely awesome. So, you know, going from there would be pretty cool. So let's just collect the rest of this. And then we'll actually probably be heading over to the Mesa. We're going to leave this room alone for now, and we're going to head over to the Mesa. So that's going to take quite a while, but we'll we'll give ourselves some food and... You know, stuff like that, and just get ready for it. I'll pick actually because we also need to make an ender chest. Or two ender chests, sorry. Um, to get it done. Ooh, we've missed some lily pads in here. That was, I think that was intentional because we couldn't reach it. Yeah, we missed some lily pads, so this needs to put, be put in. All the sugar cane can now grow as well. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. There's kind of been like cuts and stuff in it. Like, there used to be cuts back in the. Uh, 
like a th- I can't remember what episodes it was, but there was like a few episodes where there was cuts and stuff. And I, the only reason I gave up on it was just because it was like so annoying to edit together, and I I didn't know whether it was really worth it because I didn't know whether anyone actually liked it. Can you just fuck off? Like I didn't know whether whether anyone actually liked it or not, so I wasn't sure whether it was worth it. But I thought, you know what? Let's go for it. Let's let's do another cut episode. Like the previous episode, which was a uh, time lapse episode, actually was meant to be a cut episode. There 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 was going to be cuts in it, but obviously the audio fucked up and everything. So I just thought, fuck it, we're going to turn it into a time lapse episode. And yeah, it's you know why are these blocks not there? Oh, I know why. Right, we need to place in these lily pads, otherwise it's going to really bug me. Boom, boom, boom. Go, and do we have enough? Ooh, one left. Just throw it, we don't really need it. Um, you know what, we're, we're just going to dump our inventory in here, even the iron blocks, I know, a bit stupid, but we need to go get some food, guys. Desperately. And we only need to take what we really need on this trip to the Mesa. And I don't feel like we need an axe or a shovel. We need our armor and we need food. We're, I don't know whether we're gonna need torch. I don't know, man. This is, a, oh shit, we might not actually pick up our beacon here. But yeah, I'm not I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna go, go about this. I need to fix that hole in the roof now as well. I don't know how we're gonna go about this, but we'll figure something out. There we go. Yeah. We'll, f we'll figure something out, but this this room for now is basically going to be like a whole mob trap. But I'm going to get ready to go on our trip to the Mesa, so I'll see you guys in a sec. So guys, we've got basically everything we need. I just need to go grab some, some obsidian for our ender chest. we got food, we got torches, we got basically all the stuff that we're going to need. But I need to go find some lava or some obsidian, and I'm pretty sure over this side over here, there was like a big pool of lava. Um, just over here, yeah, I can actually see that there's water here. Yep, there's obsidian. Okay, that is cool. Is there any blocks in here that I can use? That is Ripperunus. Quickly grab some blocks just to block off this water before I end up going absolutely crazy. There we go. Okay, let's just grab some of this obsidian real quick. Maybe not. Fuck. Um, you know what? We're going to do our trusty old old trick here um it's a pretty pretty good trick actually i i can't even remember where i found it but i thought it was a pretty good trick so you just do that place water in the corner and then the water fills over before the la before the lava can take your item which i thought was pretty cool but you got to be careful that the water doesn't just stop you know because that does happen so you got to be real fucking careful but yeah we need to get enough for two ender chests because we're You'll you'll see why we we want to. Actually, I I don't know. Wait. Okay. Yeah. We we need to. We need to. What I want to test really is whether it's hard to explain what I'm trying to what I'm what I want to test. I'll, I'll I'll test it in a sec. I need to make two ender chests. I don't know whether you need ender pearls or. Uh, eyes of Ender, so I've brought some blaze powder as well, just in case, because I'm not 100% sure, to be brutally honest. I don't think water will flow that. Oh, it will. <laughs> Interesting. How much have we got? 16, that is enough. Uh, let's quickly make these. Okay, let's just blot that off, just so it's less visible. Let's quickly jump over here and make these. Is there even a crafting bench down here? Ah, there isn't. That makes me cry. Is there any wood? There is a crafting bench. Okay. So, obsidian with an ender pill in the middle? No. I'm pretty sure that's the end ender chest thing. Let's make one eye of ender just to test. Okay, yeah, that is how you make them. So, what I want to test is that I, d I don't... Shit. What I, what I don't, you know, completely know, and it may sound stupid to some people who've played this game, but do, does there always have to be at least one ender chest on the map for it to store your items? So, say for example, I put one there, you know, it stores it in there. But if I break both, shit, you don't get your eye of ender back. That makes me fucking cry. What I was going to say is if you place on a new one, do you keep your items? Oh, guys, that makes me fucking cry, dude. I didn't know that you... 
Okay, well, we have we kept the obsidian, we just need an ender pearl, which I don't think we have, but I'll go check if I have one. Well, I've checked basically all of my chests. Ch basically checked all of my chests and nothing, but we're going to test this anyway. So my torches still are in there, but I have a silk touch axe here, and I just want to see. I don't even know if it'll break it whatsoever. And if it does, I'm pretty sure it's going to take like four days. Oh my, what is that? Do we have a Silk Touch fucking book here? Because I will literally... No, oh, please be a Silk Touch book here. I feel like there is one, or I have a Silk Touch pickaxe somewhere. I just burped, that was tasty, right. Really, no Silk Touch books. Do I have a Silk Touch pickaxe? This one, okay. What we're gonna do is... is we're just gonna do this, waste our fucking levels. 17 levels on that shit just to do this because otherwise it's gonna take us like four days So I should give it back. There we go. Okay, cool So we are actually ready to go on our trip in our favorite rocket ship right now and head out to the Mesa. So <sighs> I'll actually see you when I'm there because it's gonna take so long and I want to get there by the end of this episode So I'll see you guys there. So guys, that's a plenty of time of trekking I'm finally here and I decided to bring my beacon with me and the main reason I decided to bring it with me is because I thought this stuff was insta pick up first, but it's not. Hello. I thought this stuff was insta pick, but it's not apparently. So, but this is a huge. It's not even that big of a mesa. But the only reason I came here is for hardened clay. We're gonna fill up our inventory with hardened clay. We're gonna fill up our ender chest with hardened clay, and then we're gonna fuck off back home. It turns out you can color hardened clay as well if it's just normal. I don't know if you can color already colored hardened clay. Um, so that's something that we'll have to discover, but let's get this beacon up. We are going to need a piece of iron here as well. Let's get this beacon up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Actually, you know what? Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this should be in line here. Let's just fill this thing in. So yeah, I brought a beacon specifically for us to clear out this shit because otherwise we are going to be here forever. Um, and I just want to fill up an inventory, etc. with it and kind of then just head back. So, Because the, the main reason it is just so we can have hardening clay to work with whenever we want. But I'm probably going to have to make a few more trips here, like which really makes me rip because there took me so much food to get. Like, look how much food it took me to get here because I like ran and jumped a load of the way. It it uses so much food and stuff, and it's just really not worth it, you know. But I guess it may be worth it to some people. Let's get rid of that. Place our beacon down and put in a piece of iron. Do that. Do that. Okay. We should now have haste too. It's time to start collecting this shit. Oh, this is beautiful. I love me an instapick. Oh, ghost blocks already, guys. It makes me cry every time. Got a stick there from beating that shrub to death. This is beautiful. This is actually gorgeous. I I really hate ghost blocks. I've decided that I have a huge fucking I want to murder myself. I, I want to stab the shit out of my own chest because of these things. Like, why? Like, look at this. Look how many ghost blocks there was there. That is stupid. Imagine if relogging deleted all the, like, deleted all ground entities, like item entities. That would make me cry. Because there's so many times where I've had to, like, relog because I can't reach something because of ghost blocks. I would have lost them. Yeah, we are just going to fill our inventory as much as humanly possible. Throw this fucking stick out. We got some mobs coming at us here though. But this is this is just gorgeous. This is absolutely beautiful doing this. Guys, if you've never had a haste tube, you can just do it, man. Just fucking do it. Make them dreams come true. Make them zesty memes come true. The mobs are real right now. Make them zesty memes come true, everybody. Fucking ghost box. Let's collect what we got already. See how much we got. I haven't looked at my inventory once. So it's time for the moment of truth in just a second. Here, let's pick up all this. 
like so much time in tracking. I'm not sure how long it was, but so much time in tracking for like maybe 10, 15 minutes of filling my inventory. It's real fucking great. It, it makes the zest slightly wear off this meme. Do we... Holy shit, guys. We have a pretty full fucking inventory. That is crazy. We need to remember space for our beacon as well. So obviously that did take up more inventory space. And I brought my axe and my... My axe and my um, shovel as well, which weren't really needed. But I thought, why not? God, these are some... This is just pure zestiness. It really is. We didn't bring any torches? I f did I forget? I forgot my torches. Actually, no, they're in the ender chest, I lie. But still, it's very zesty, very. I don't know where this zesty memes thing has come from. I, I just, I, I apologize. Once I kind of get into something like that, I'll, I won't stop saying it for fucking months. But you know what, guys? I'm going to fill my inventory, fill the ender chest, and I'll be right back. So, guys, we filled my inventory finally and now we need to pick up <laughs> English now we need to pick back up our beacon and start working on uh, making our way home which is going to be a huge pain in my ass so we actually need to clear some space here for the rest of these iron blocks I think that should be enough I'm not sure but yeah we need to just get this beacon picked up and we can head off home the ender chest is completely full my inventory is full my pickaxe is almost fucked as you can see but then we shall be completely full on hard and clay which is awesome totally awesome so you know that'll be great once it's finally done let's just pick up the rest of this beacon um and then i'll see you guys back at the base so guys we're back at the base with all of the stuff we have an ender chest full of this stuff as well but unfortunately that is all we have time for um we got a lot done in this episode and i'm actually really happy about it like i'm happy that we kind of went for this style of cutting things up and just doing things off camera and stuff like that and i've really enjoyed doing it i've spent more time on the episode done more stuff but crammed it all into one episode and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one because a lot of work has been put into this one the editing the doing stuff off camera it's you know, a lot of work is being put into this. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. Be sure to leave a comment down below on some other videos that you want to see from me on other games or on Minecraft. Also drop a like down below, that would be really highly appreciated. If we can get this video to 5 likes, that would be completely awesome. But thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!